Toni Morrison said we die. That may be the meaning of life, but we do language. That may be the measure of our lives. And my dear sister Toni Morrison, how you do this thing called language, the measure of our lives, how you caress, embrace, untangle this language, recapture our memory, how you stand words up and let them minuet our blood, how you help us recover our silver words as you open up the sorcery of language and take us out on your wings of laughter and pain, intellect and beauty and love, and we are one, alive, apart from the elasticity of the dead. That's what we've all tried to do, we writers, you know, because in Japan, it is said that the words of the soul reside in the spirit called kotodama, or the spirit of words, and the act of speaking words has the power to change the world. That's what I've been doing, trying to change this bloody world, my sisters and my brothers, you know that? All these years with these poems that we did, all these years with these speeches, and all these years with example, and all these years with teaching. You know, I taught for 40 years, and that's a long, long time, but I have and have had some amazing students, brothers and sisters. I traveled to Cuba for an international writers' conference in the late 1970s. After I had read a paper to an audience, some of the officials asked me if I wanted anything. I said, yes, I would like to meet the great Cuban poet Nicholas Guillén. They stared at me, said he wasn't feeling well, said they tried to arrange it. Two hours later, they gathered me up, and as I entered his office, he was standing in the middle of the room, feet planted on Cuban earth, legs no longer strong, but arms strong like Elizabeth Catlett's black women's arms. And he said, Sonia, Sonia Sanchez, Gomer Langston, Gomer Langston Hughes. And I smiled, a smile of recognition, folded myself into his arms, and he hugged me so hard that I couldn't breathe. And I thought, hold it. I didn't come all this way to die in Cuba. <laughs> And then I realized that if I just stopped struggling, if I just leaned into his breath, I would be all right. And I leaned into his breath, and we began to breathe as one. That is what the great poet Langston Hughes' poetry taught us all, the necessity to learn how to lean into each other's breath and breathe as one. That's what we've been trying to do, to make us all breathe as one, to stop this division that is going on, you know. Hey, we're all the same people, different shades of humanity out here. You got to stop it. And I'm saying it to you, young people, because it's your world. We have messed up this world for you. I mean, we have screwed it up, <laughs> you, know, you know. And it's up to you to really, really, really bring it back. And I'm just so happy. I've taught for so long, and I've seen some of the young brothers and sisters, you know, begin to change the world. So listen, gentle persons, I come to you this evening with two voices, the voice of the praiser, praising you. I come to you with the voice of the poet, a weaver of words threading silver and gold into our veins. Listen, listen to what Elizabeth Catler said, for a better life, for our culture, we must impose peace on our country and the world. Woke up this morning with my eyes on peace. I say, woke up this morning with my eyes on peace. Woke up this morning with my eyes on peace. Gonna live, gonna walk, gonna live in peace. Someone said, there's a dance in each one of us. I would say there's also light moon, prayer, rain, ash, and river. A river of castanets feeling the pulse of this day. You, my brothers and sisters, must finally break into a dance of butterflies, winging in and out of an our American dreams, hanging bamboo laughter, lighting our world, our homes, our streets, our eyes, our memory against peacock catastrophes called war. You, my brothers and sisters must finally answer the question, the most important question of the 21st century. What does it mean to be human? Not pretty, not intelligent, not bright, not looking good all the time, but what does it mean to be human? What does it mean to be human? This is a poem about hands, I think. 
You frontier men and women whose hands will discover life through helping the uninitiated, hands wrapped in wrists as you reach out to humankind. And I hold out my hands to you this afternoon, my sisters, my brothers, these hands with no eyes, these hands with no nostrils, these hands with no ears. Now I dress them up like a musician so they can see you home, so they can accompany you as you move, surrounded by the voices of your ancestors as you move across the center of tongues. What to say to you now, my brothers and my sisters, Igor, Sarah, Louise, Yen, Juan, Ji Young, Rashid, Kenja, Olga, Jenny, 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 Joseph, Perti, Yasmin, Rachel, David, Jose, Shakira, Richard, Shaquille, in the soft morning air as the world holds us all in a single breath. What song to sing you, Rebecca, Angelo, Jose, John, Lee, Tanya, Rashi, Nicolette, Suja, Karen, Charlotte, Yolanda, Nozuma, Tara, Shamika, Angela, Sarah, Uzma, Etwa, Megan, Robert, Hala, Hassan. We sing, will you let me in today, America, world? It is time for young, new words, new ideas, young visions. We sing today is Friday. We have passed this way many years of our lives on our way home to you. We have walked a thousand midnights and our eyes are anointed with indigo. We sing amen, amen, amen. A woman, a woman, a woman. This is a poem about you. You fun-loving men and women. You flint and feather men and women. You country and cathedral men and women with hearts in your mouths, singing the morning wind and becoming the wind, tearing the wings off ignorance and greed and war and guns and assassinations and miseducation, no education, poverty, arrogance, war, 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 folding yourselves in the music of a Spanish guitar, forever strumming racial, sexual, social, economic, religious, justice and peace. Peace, 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 peace. This is a poem, you'll say I know. This is a poem, you'll all say I know it, about that great genius W.E.B. Du Bois who said, what shall the end be? The world, old and fearful things, war and wealth, murder and luxury, or shall it be a new thing, a new peace, and a new democracy of all races, a just humanity of equal men and women? This is a poem about a new time, about four million gallons of oil exploding in the ocean last year, leaving the Gulf Coast startled by an avalanche of death and greed. This is a poem about 9-11, and you burdened with knowledge and terror that no other generation has ever known. This is a poem about a history of Africans jumping, screaming in an ocean in protest to that obscenity called slavery in the Americas. This is a poem about a history of Native Americans defending their country against invaders, walking their blue death walk of relocation. This is the poem about Jews and artists and gypsies dying in concentration camps, their children moving in the rain of ash unraveling mines. This is the poem about Chicanos making us remember this country is a reservoir of immigrants who helped build this country. This is the poem about the slaughter and rapes in Bosnia, the Congo, Rwanda, Liberia, Syria, many massacres of the spirit, mind, and body in the Middle East. This it's about the truth in our children's eyes as we wash the feet of our country and this earth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. As we sanitize the walls of the world with environmental justice. As we anoint our hands with light, as we walk towards ourselves and find others just like ourselves. This is the poem with no jet propelled pain, no irrelevant death squads, just a memory of hands, a memory of eyes calling out your eyes, morning stars opening us to praise as you create dreams as you go out through these university doors textured by colors as the day disrobes in prayer oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. today is your day my brothers and my sisters so come 
Come, 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 come. Nourish the world where every three days 120,000 children die of starvation or the effects of starvation. Come, 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 come. Nourish the world away from what Bernard Haring, the great Roman Catholic teacher, calls the materialistic growth mania of for more and more productions and more and more markets for selling unnecessary and even damaging products. It is a sin against the generations to come. You, what shall we leave to them? Rubbish? Atomic weapons, numerous enough to make this world uninhabitable, a poison atmosphere, and polluted water. Oh, come, 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 you and I. Let us go into this world praising ourselves, elaborating a metaphysic for the universe, carrying earth from one plane to another in peace, clothing this planet and our eyes with information, passion, hope, Peace, love, peace, peace, come, come, and become, come, come, become lightning flash, come, come, and become a river running, cracking through rocks of hatred and hunger, come, and become, come, and become, come, and become, finally, you and I must paint our faces guardians of the earth. Finally, we must know that we are not quoting, I have become death. No, we are, must be, must quote, I have become life. And therefore, I must oppose all killings and murders and wars and rapes and invasions and executions and invasive actions. I have become life, life. Life, 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 life. I burn silver and red and black and yellow and brown and white with life for our children, for the earth. I have become life. We must all say, I have become life. Look at me. I have become life. I walk in light. I move like the dawn with a tint of blue in my hair. I say, I say, I have become life, 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 life. I walk a path that clears away the debris of racists and sexists and homophobes and terrorists and murderers and earth pornographers. I have become life. And you and I must become small miracles, must push the wind down enter the slow bloodstream of America and the world, scrape the rust from our eyes, go floor by floor, window by window, become new brides and bridegrooms among change. And you and I must challenge your elders, your families, your communities, your churches, your cathedrals, your mosques, your synagogues with our breaths to breathe in blacks and Latinos and Jews and gays and Muslims and Asians and Native Americans and whites and lesbians and Chicanos and Africans and transgenders to gather up our rainbow colored skins in peace and racial and sexual and economic and religious justice. So come, come, come with yourselves singing life singing life, singing eyes, singing hands, alarming the deaf singers that we have come to celebrate life, 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 until we become seeing women and men again, walking barefoot across our souls, always with a prayer on our tongues, talking towards the spirit. I say walking towards the spirit, and we must put on our eyes where there is always the precision of women and men sewing themselves into the sleeves of change and beauty and activism and change and love and peace and peace and peace. It'll get better, it'll get better, it'll get better, it'll get better. It'll get better because of you, 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 you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.